Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? My name is Chris and it's time for another review video, just an old fashioned poker chip review video, <laughs> only this time it's not poker chips. It's a line of really cool products by this guy. I think his name is Ben and I think his company is 3D Printed Poker Products. And uh, he's a vendor on pokerchipforum.com. He's also got his own website and his own store and I will definitely put the links in the description where you can find his stuff uh, the crown jewel of his 3D poker printed projects is these mixed game dice. Very, very cool. If you play mixed games like I do at home, you will want one of these bad boys because they are so cool. You don't know what to play, you just roll the die. And it looks like we're going to play Pot Limit Omaha 8, one of my favorites. Probably the favorite game at our cash game. Uh, what really is the killer app for this product, big size. Well balanced. I mean, you can roll and you'll get a different game every time. What really is the killer app is you've got these tiles that pop in and out. And the tiles can either be raised writing or recessed writing. I did the recessed writing because I just think it looks cool. Crazy Pineapple just seems like it should be in yellow. Uh, you can pop the tiles out of the die and replace them. Any combination, any order that you want. Uh, ben has a great video on how to pop the tiles in and out. It's very easy, but I won't waste our time doing that in this video. Badoogie also seems like it should just be an orange. Um, I've color coordinated these tiles with my mixed game plaques that I got from smartsign.com. And here they are. If it's a fixed limit game in my house, it's green tile. And we use all the mixed games in the World Series of Poker for the Dealer's Choice event. Uh, except that one. That's not in the World Series. So if it's green, your fixed limit. If it's blue, your pot limit. Pot limit, hold them. Who plays that? Blue is pot limit. See, pot limit Omaha 8 is definitely the most popular game in our little game. Uh, home game wrecker. And if it's red, it's no limit. Those are the three games we play in no limit. Anyway, so I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do it when this COVID nonsense ends and we get back to playing live poker. Um, well, I was, you know, I was thinking maybe we have a fixed limit die and a big bet die. And I was thinking, you know, we also could use, you know, no limit hold'em. You put one of them, could have a bomb pot. So you start that round with a bomb pot or end the round with a bomb pot. You know, there's just all different ways you could do it. And these, these die are really cool. He also sells a little stand for the die and you can put whatever you want on it. And I put my game up in here, Pepper Street Poker. So say we're playing stud eight, you can just pop that bad boy right in there. Click, doesn't even click, it just sits right there. And then everybody at the table, you just have it set up. So everybody at the table knows we're playing seven stud eight. So you just have to look at it and see. Just a very cool uh, product. Just something really neat for a poker nerd like me. I love all poker and this is, if you like more games than just No Limit Hold'em, this is the product for you. Definitely check out his video on how to pop the tiles in and out and uh, check out his website for his other products. Just really cool, really durable and really inexpensive. Just a really cool product and he's got other products too. These are shuffle stack racks, they hold 10 chips. And if you're like me and you have poker chips at your desk when you're working, it's a cool little rack to have so the chips aren't just floating all over the place. Uh, these chips, I reviewed these in my Poker Chip 1 video, and this is Poker Chip video number 10. I reviewed these chips if you're interested. Very cool. There's another product he's got. It's called a Racker Stacker, and it's two pieces of plastic. And it looks like a rack, but that's not really what it is. The Racker Stacker is used to neatly arrange your chips. And I think it really is a photography tool. So say you've got a rack of chips and you want to take a really sharp... He's also got a video of how to use this product, which I will link in the description, but I'm going to try to demonstrate here. Take a rack of chips and you slide them together and then you can move them all around the table wherever you want and set them up perfectly for that perfect photo. How dope is that, right? I think I think that's what it is. It's a photography tool. Also, if you want the top of your tournaments to look super sharp and you're using full barrels of 20 chips for whatever reason in your tournaments, or even half barrels, I mean, that would work really nice. I mean, that's pretty slick. And he has those in 39. He also has those in 
43 millimeter. So you can do the trick with a 43 millimeter stack of chips as well. Uh, these chips, I reviewed these. These are Sunfly ceramic hybrids from a group buy back in the day. Um, can't remember what video that is. But if you look through my poker chip videos, you will find them. And finally, the final product that I want to review, which I think is really cool, really underrated, is this card holder. In my home game, I have three poker tables, and they are green, blue, and red. And this is a really pretty basic but really cool item that I plan to use because when you're struggling with playing cards, you usually struggle with them in these kind of boxes. They're shitty boxes. They're difficult to open, they're awkward, and you see I had to put like a lame label on there to know what cards are in there. With these, they're on display, and you put them in a drawer and it's fine. And what's really slick is when you take the cards out, ah, you got dealer buttons underneath and a little compartment there. Very cool. I like this, and then, you know, I'll just keep these in a drawer. And then when it's tournament time, I just throw this bad boy on the red table, this one on the blue table. This one on the green table, it's just as easy as that. So yeah, a short but sweet video for you guys. I hope you like looking at these products in close up. Like I said, be sure you click on Ben's link in the description to learn how to pop these tiles on and off. It's actually not that difficult. Matter of fact, the stand is a little tool that helps you pop them off, I think. Watch me fuck it up now. Oh no, it just pops right off. Boop, you can pop the tile right off and you grab any tile you want. You say, I wanna throw some Badoogie into this mix. And it just really, literally just pops right on. Boink. Easy peasy. I guess it wasn't that difficult. I guess I could show you how to do that. Now you got a normal die with no limit hold'em. Big O. Literally whatever you want on here. He'll print, as long as it can fit, he'll print it on there. So if you have some weird games, like I know there's some unusual home games like Scrotum and other games like that that I don't play but other people like, you can also put that on there. Badoogie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just one of the coolest products I've seen come along in a long time. I hope you get it. They're not that expensive. And uh, if you love mixed games and you host a home game, I think this is a must-have product. Absolutely. I uh, can't wait to get to using them again. It's just been too long. Too little poker going on around these parts. Uh, everybody stay safe and healthy out there. And you understand also that life will get back to normal, some semblance of normal. We will play live poker again. Uh, because we have to because it's it's life, you know, you have to live at some point But in the meantime stay safe be kind to one another. That's ultimately the most important thing. Don't shame each other It's just nonsense. No reason to do that. Take care get through it and I'll see you next time. Peace. We out <laughs>